Welcome back to Bring Myself an Eye. So today I did my Lisa Frank eyes, is what I'm calling it, because I'm utilizing the Electric Palette by Urban Decay. And when I first got this, I was legit like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with this? Like, I don't know, there's just so much going on. I did a really interesting trailer on this. <laughs> like if you have this and have wondered how in the world to use it because I definitely was kind of in shock when I got it and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it but I did some research, played around and I found a way to incorporate almost all of these colors in this eye look and that's pretty much the only colors I used. I did use one Makeup Peak shadow as a blending shade but that was about it. So if you're interested in how I achieve this, then stay tuned. Uh, like if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any requests or looks that you'd like to see here on Bring Myself and I or reviews for a product, then let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I'm in a very silly mood, so you have been warned. I'm going to start priming my eyes with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15 as per usual. Then after doing lots of research, I found a couple of different looks that I liked, one of which was the glamorous Miss Jaclyn Hill and Catherine Lights, a couple of their looks and then some looks off Pinterest and this is kind of what I've merged together. But I took a MAC 242 brush and I'm starting out with that silvery shade named Revolt in the Urban Decay Electric Palette, obviously. Now I'm gonna take the same brush and put some of that jilted pink shade all over the lid area and keeping it very close to the eye, uh, sorry, the lash line, but not too far past the crease, otherwise you will look sick. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend that all over and clean up my mess as we go. With an eye look like this, you for sure want to do your eyes first and then do your face. Otherwise, you'll be cleaning up double time. Nobody likes that. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with small amounts of color and then layer it out. Now I'm taking Creme Brulee and a Sigma E. 35 brush and blending that out in the crease for a transition color. This is the only eyeshadow that is not affiliated with the Urban Decay Electric Palette that I used for this look, but I thought it was the best one to help transition things out. Now taking that MAC 242 and the shade Urban, which is like a royal purple, and again covering where we have the pink shade. Doing different shades like this I've found gives the eye more dimension and dynamic and just kind of creates its own colors once you get them all layered and stuff. Now I'm gonna take the Sigma E30 pencil brush and pack those two blue shades, which are Gonzo and Chaos, and keep this strictly to the outer V of our eye. This will give a very dramatic look and yeah, you definitely wanna keep this in its place. And then we'll go through and layer it once we get our eyeliner on and then we'll pack some more on over top of it so that our eyeliner doesn't take over and that blue really shines through. But it is intense. Now I'm gonna take the um, gel liner by Maybelline in black and any kind of 
gel liner and pencil brush you have. That sounded really Western gel liner. <laughs> Ooh, my Texas roots are showing. <laughs> and I'm just going to line my eyes. I'm not going for a huge cat eye. And we're going to layer, layer, layer. I'm not adding any more product on. I'm just going, oh, I lied. Yes, I'm gonna tap a little bit of product on the Sigma E30 and keep that to the outer V again, just on top of that eyeliner. And blending it into the lid of our eye, but not taking it above our crease. And I know it looks a little crazy right now, but just hang in there. And just layer the eyeliner back on over top. Then I'm going to take that blending brush by Sigma with nothing else on it and blend out everything we got going on. Now I'm going to take a concealer brush with nothing on it and pack on Mary Illuminizer by The Balm. Everyone knows about this, but if you don't, go and grab some. It is incredible and it lasts forever. And I'm going to again continue to blend out with a brush with nothing on it. Adding a highlight again will help just bring a little bit of light to this kind of heavy look. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Lash Sensational in black and coat my lashes. And I'm going to do the face in three two boom all right now taking my new obsession the Kat Von D shade light palette and the lighter of the two contour shades obviously because I'm pale and an angled blush brush any kind of fluffy brush you got will work and contour out my face I'm gonna do kind of an intense contour ish look <laughs> since the eyes are so dramatic I want to make sure that they are put on a very strong looking face. I don't want it to look too flat, otherwise it'll look kind of weird, or even more weird if you're not one for Lisa Frank looking eyes. Now I'm taking a tapered eyeshadow brush and a little bit of that contour shade in the middle and carving out my nose. Like I said, I'm going for intensity today. Make sure not to neglect your neckline. Then taking a tapered E35 brush by Sigma, I'm going to grab the banana and highlight shade and pop that on the top of my cheekbone and underneath my eyes and my T-zone to give a glorious highlight effect on the areas and kind of balance that out. I absolutely love this contour kit if I haven't already mentioned it. Then I'm going to put some of that right underneath where we contoured to keep that super focused. Now taking a blush brush and Coralista, Bella Bamba, Sugar Bomb, any kind of coral pink shade you've got will work. And popping that right on my cheeks and blending that into our contour. Now taking a fan brush from... I don't even know where I got it from. I think it was in a random shop. <laughs> anyway, and more of the Mary Illuminizer by The Balm highlight and putting a very little amount and popping that all over where I highlight, which is the top of the cupid's bow, the nose, in between my eyes, the top of the cheeks, the chin a little bit, and a little bit on the forehead. If you're really oily, you wanna be super duper careful with this highlighter. I'm gonna retouch that with my blush, blend that together nicely. Now I'm gonna take the Sigma Powder Blush in F10 and take the Hula Bronzer, which is very popular, and do a little bit of bronzing kind of where we contoured and put our blush and highlight and then pack that in with our Forever Puff with nothing on it. I'll keep it simple. This will help set everything we got going on. Now, taking the Anastasia Brow Pencil, or Brow Wiz, sorry, in Soft Brown. I'm gonna make a very sad face. 
such a weirdo sometimes. <laughs> and just kind of fill in my eyebrows as per usual and brush that out with her number 20 brush and spoolie, which I love and use in every tutorial. Boom. I need to trim those soon. Now taking a Sigma pencil E30 brush and the shader lid E56 brush, I'm going to grab some of the fringe shade and keep that to the outer corner of our eyes. I'm going to take that shade with that E56 at first, which is a really flat, kind of pointy brush. And then we'll blend it out with the E30 here in a minute with another shade of green. Or blue. Just kidding. I'm going to take the E30 pencil brush with whatever's left over from Gonzo and Chaos and blend that into the green shade for more dimension. That's right. I want to kind of keep this synchronicity from the top and the bottom. Now taking an E30 pencil brush with nothing on it and putting a little bit of freak on it, which is that lime green shade, and popping that right in the inner corner of our eye just really adds so much to this look. I can't even handle it. Then I'm going to take a tapered blending brush and blend all that out underneath our eyes with our highlighter just to make sure we don't have too much of a like clown colored fallout on our cheeks very likely with this kind of look. Then I'm going to take an E30 and spray a little bit of anything to get it wet. You can use eye drops if you want and make sure it's nice and damp. I kind of pat it on a towel and then take that Revolt silver shade and make that right on the inner corner. And this really adds so much to this look and I think it really makes it look wearable in a weird way. I don't know. Some people might be like, eh, this is where I'm done with this tutorial. <laughs> but I think that this extra step really adds a lot of dimension and opens up the eyes and makes them look not so tired and kind of weighed down. Now, to take this look to the Rihanna level status, <laughs> I'm going to take the NYX Silver Shimmer um, eyebrow or sorry eyeliner and waterline with that and I'm also going to take the soft coal by Rimmel in the shade pure white and kind of line those together again to open up the eyes even more. Now I'm going to take my Coraza hair down and try to do something with it which is not always successful. Yep nope the hair is not on board. It's not really wanting to be a part of this team. Whatever. Now I'm going to take the Too Faced Lip Primer. I highly recommend this for anyone that likes liquid lipsticks, like this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Baby Pink. And I'm also going to line my lips first with the shade Nectar with the NYX lip liner. I got it in either an Ipsy bag or a Lore Society, I'm not sure. I got it in one of those subscription boxes and I love it. And it's a perfect tone to go underneath this pink shade and kind of give it not an ombre effect, but just a little bit of dimension. I got tiny lips, so anything helps. And that is it. Oh, just kidding. We should have a setting spray coming up. Ah, Scandinavia. Yes. My bridal spray. I'm going to spray that all over my face and fan my face like I'm in church. And now we're done. Pretty intense look. I would definitely wear this like if I were in law school or something. No. <laughs> I'm considering wearing it to my graduation. I might. I might. It's been 10 years. I don't know. I should. Anyway. <laughs>